In 2019, the Rock and Mortgage Classic became the first ever PGA Tour event in the city of Detroit 2020 at the height of the pandemic. This team put it on, led by Jason Langwell, the tournament's executive director. 2021, the gates open, Jason. You've said each year it feels like a year one. You're in year four now. Does it feel like year four of all the challenges made this seem again like another year one? Uh, yeah, a little bit of both. A little bit of both. I think, you know, when you're putting all of the things and improvements you wanted to do in year two in year four, it kind of feels a little bit like year two. But at the same time, we feel like we're pulling from a ton of experience um, and a ton of energy, uh, just incredible energy from our volunteer base, uh, from all of our partners and sponsors. Ticket sales are booming. So there's a lot of similarities to year one as we head into year four. But at the same time, too, I feel like we're pulling from a lot of amazing experience. The golfers, that's what people want to be a part of. They want to see some of the world's best golfers up close and personal. You guys have given them that opportunity here. You bring these guys that are in contention for majors that are right there on the cusp of winning that, that major championship, and then you have a long list of major champions. Can you tell people out there some new names that you've added to the list that's already impressive to begin with? Yeah, it's exciting. We knew coming out of the Open Championship, we'd always you know, get a few more players that were trying to make decisions and excited to have Max Homa. Uh, back in the field, who's up in top 20 of the world now. We got another former major champion in uh, uh, Webb Simpson is going to be coming to town. Another one in Zach Johnson making his maiden voyage uh, to Detroit. So add Zach to the list of a number of first time major champions that are coming to Detroit. And so um, and I don't think we're done yet. So that the field just keeps getting better and better. And uh, we're excited to uh, put together what I think is our deepest and best field we've ever had. The youth around golf, the major champion list of winners that have won these tournaments in the last few years, it is so young and it's so impressive the amount of talent that's in this game that, again, is still in its 20s. How have you found success in bringing some of those top young golfers to this tournament over the last few years? I think it just helps. Guys like Cam Davis coming out here and winning for the first time. I think players know that this is a place, you know, so many players grew up playing Donald Ross golf courses. And us going out and having those conversations that we got a classic Donald Ross waiting for them, I think energizes them and they're like, I think I can get it done out there. Um, and, and two, just bringing the young talent that we have with Victor Hovland and others through exemptions in the past has encouraged a lot of the younger players to come here and feel like they can play well right out of the gate. I'm sure it hasn't been easy. Putting on a golf tournament at the PGA Tour is never easy. The challenges, though, with everything that's happening in the golf world, how difficult has it been to put some of these guys in the field and deal with everything thrown at you? You know what? We've made adjustments every year from the beginning, and it's really you have a plan, and then you make adjustments to the plan. That's, that's the business that we're in. And so whether it's been COVID or adjustments with other leagues or other things like that, we just get together as a team, take our plan, figure out what adjustments do we need to make to come out and ultimately find a way to you know, meet our goals, which is to shine a bright spotlight on the city and hold the best event of the summer. And we've been able to do that every year. We're going to do that again. We're standing you know, just right off the green here at 18. And it's so amazing just to see, especially last year with people reinvigorated, being able to be out here. Kids on, on parents' shoulders and families walking yeah. along here, seeing these final putts on 18. What can fans expect new that you're bringing to this year's event? Well, they're going to be able to come out this year to Detroit Community Days presented by DT Energy for free on Tuesday and Wednesday, uh, which is great. So that's going to be a great experience for all Detroiters to come out and experience our best special events on Tuesday. Uh, you know, our Area 3 and 3 Celebrity Scramble, um, our youth clinic, and then we've got our Pro-Am on Wednesday. We've also got the front nine activated. We've got a tree house that we build out in the front nine, a public deck for fans to get up high and see four, actually five holes of golf. Uh, which is great. We've got some fan zone areas out in the village, the area 313 village, the area 313 grove. So some new ex fan experience areas uh, there and the CDW youth golf zone where youth can come out and get instruction for free all week uh, right out the Detroit Golf Club driving range. So all those are new enhancements that we're making to whether you're a fan of golf or a fan of fun, we got something for you. It looks amazing. The setup, it's unbelievable what you guys do. We're work in progress, but I know you're getting close. I'll let you get back to work. Thanks. Jason okay, Langwell with it. us here. One week away, Rock and Mortgage Classic.